Bonjour, je m'appelle Marie. Bonjour Marie. Je suis de Coin Telegraph. So we are very happy to see you here. Likewise. Let me ask a few questions. Sure. So please tell us how you got involved in the world of cryptocurrencies. My name is Jérôme Grier. I'm general manager for VeChain Europe. And about six months ago, I met uh, this passionate guy in Paris that was traveling for business. And uh, we discussed, we had a great discussion about uh, how blockchain can change various industries, in particular luxury. And then I decided to jump ships. I used to be in finance and oh. joined the team of VeChain. I'm a fan of luxury living. So please tell me, do you want to disrupt my lifestyle? <laughs> no, I want to make it even better than what it is so now. So how? So from a customer standpoint, what I want to bring to you is a very easy way to check whether a product you have in hand is genuine or not to fight against anti-counterfeits. But not only that, once you have the product and you know it's not fake, then I want to allow the brand that uh, you are interested in mm -hmm. to share more more passionating stories of the product with you so they can share where how the product was designed what is the ideas behind the product but also also can share who is the designer they can share what is the, the fabric that is used how the fabric managed to be created for this product so then you have more uh, um, a better feel for what you have in hand so could you give me an example so let's say, let's yeah. choose some luxury goods and yeah. then how it works, like Let the whole process. Could you describe the whole process? Sure. So as a customer, you would walk into a store, uh, you see a very nice bag that you're interested in. So let's in. say bag. Let's say leather bag. Leather bag. All right. I like it. You've dreamed about, <laughs> it, for, you've dreamed about it for a long time uh, and then you find it here. So first of all, you want to make sure... Dreams come true. <laughs> you want to make sure this is a real bag. Right. So you take your cell phone, you start... Uh, either the VeChain application or the luxury brand application and you scan the bag. The application will tell you automatically yes, it's real or oh, not real. Really? Absolutely, as easy as this. And then uh, the application the application will maybe display a video of the designer, an interview of the designer explaining why she designed the bag like this. Uh, you can maybe choose to know you, the bag you like is a limited edition. Right. So you want to know maybe why is it a limited edition? What is the anecdote behind the bag right. that created the limited edition? Legend and story behind. Absolutely. And then after that you say, okay, I can't resist anymore. And you just buy the bag. After you buy, you ask at the desk that they transfer ownership to you. So mm -hmm. they show you a QR code, for instance, on their phone. Right. You flash it with the app. And now the, the, um, for everybody in the blockchain, they know that this bag, which is the number six of the limited edition, only 100 pieces in the world, then you, we know this bag belongs to Maria. Right. And That's nobody can change it. That's works. how blockchain works. So for sure, it's mine. <laughs> for sure, it's yours. If you, Everybody uh, knows. <laughs> let's say one day you, you, you cannot find it anymore. So right. you're like, the, that's the end of the world. Makes so sense. you're going to go to the app and say, somebody stole my bag and you're going to write it in the blockchain. So if someone right. ever finds the bag and scan your bag, they will see, okay, Maria declared it was lost. Mm -hmm. But fortunately, uh, the bag was not very far away. It was just in the back of the closet. Then you can scan <laughs> the bag again and say, okay, I found it. It was only lost for a couple all of good. hours. <laughs> so all good. Um, all this is recorded in the blockchain, but we know that uh, everything is safe. So for our subscribers, what is an ICO that you wish existed, but it does not actually? Yeah, uh, what I would like to see actually is in the field of uh, loyalty programs, for instance. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, what would be very interesting is to see uh, an ICO that would provide some loyalty coins for uh, a brand. So like, instead of giving me miles uh, that I can only spend on flights or maybe some goodies, then maybe some uh, uh, tokens that I can use to purchase a hotel room right. uh, as well as maybe some entertainment. Something a bit more integrated across industries, like a global loyalty program. Uh, nice. That would be a coin. That's something that would be quite interesting to see.